Hi everybody, it's Miss Amanda here to say I miss you and I'm excited to do some experimenting with you today. So right now we are all kind of stuck at home and not everybody necessarily has the art supplies they need to make awesome projects. I mean, you can make a masterpiece just with a pencil. That's all you really need. Anything to write with, anything you can make a mark with, you can make a wonderful work of art. But maybe there are some art supplies you really miss using, like paint. I know that I love using watercolor paint, but Maybe, maybe you ran out of watercolor paint, maybe you don't have any, and I've learned that you can make your own paint with simple household items like spices. So I wanted to do a little experiment with that today and share it with you. I'm going to make some paint out of spices and I'm gonna see how it works. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I haven't done it before. I don't even have all of the ingredients to make the recipes right, but I'm just gonna give it a try and see what happens. The recipe I am using calls for four simple ingredients for each spice paint that you make. So I'm gonna try out a few different colors. You start with a quarter cup of water and then you add a tablespoon of flour. You're also supposed to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. I don't have any, so I'm skipping that step. Um, my paint might just turn out to be a little less sticky and thick than I'd like it, but we'll see how it goes. And then you'll add a tablespoon of whatever spices you're using. I'm making one little cup of paint with cinnamon and one with turmeric to have a nice yellow color, hopefully. And I will also have one little cup with thyme in it to hopefully get a green color. I'll have one little cup with cayenne pepper in it. And my last color, I'm using some cloves. I am going to mix all of those up and let them sit for a little while, let those spices soak, and then we'll have our spice paint. Okay, so I have my spice paints. Only some of them turned out. Uh, a lot of the other ones, like the thyme, I was kind of disappointed because that was my only green, but um, thyme and a few other ones, the color didn't come out of the spice enough. I don't know if that would be different if I had had cornstarch or maybe if I boiled the spices in the solution for a little bit. I don't know, but that's okay because I have these nice neutral earth tones. So I have kind of a reddish brown uh, from the cayenne pepper. I have my yellow from turmeric and I have some brown from cinnamon and this color, I don't know if this will show up, but this was from the clove. So I have some nice neutral colors. I can make like an earth tone picture and that works just fine for me. So let's see how these work because I have not started painting with them yet. Since I'm just experimenting with my space paint, I'm actually not gonna think or plan too much about what I'm painting. I decided for this picture to just start painting a pattern and I'm doing a pattern that has radial balance. Radial balance is when the elements and lines and shapes repeat in a circle. I started with a circle in the middle of my paper with the cayenne spice paint and then I've just been building out from that center circle repeating different lines and shapes and using my different colors. That yellow color you see is the turmeric paint. The really light almost beige one is from the cloves and then the red is cayenne and the brown is cinnamon. After trying out all the different paints, I decided to do another picture using my favorites. I really liked the cayenne pepper paint and the turmeric paint. They just seemed to work the best, the colors were more vivid, and the paint just had a nice flow to it. So I started making kind of an automatic drawing with these paints. Automatic drawing is when you just sort of start drawing and you don't really think about it. You keep your pencil or your brush moving and you don't think too hard about what you're making. I ended up with this picture of a woman with some sunbeams in the background. A lot of times in art class we really spend a lot of time planning out these big elaborate art projects that take a long time and that's great and it gives us work that we're really proud of. 
but that's not the only approach to making art. Sometimes it's fun to just play around with materials in your sketchbook and see what happens on your paper. For my last spice painting, I decided to just use that reddish brown cayenne paint and I decided to paint one of my favorite flowers, peonies. And you know, of all of the spice paintings I've done today, I think this one is my favorite. Maybe it's because peonies are my favorite flowers, maybe I like the cayenne spice paint the best, or maybe it's because I've had the most practice for this one. Okay, so that was my art experiment. It seems like the spices that have smaller grains make better colors, which makes sense because it's really tiny and can mix up in the water really well. Some of them turn out kind of goopy, so maybe don't let them sit too long after you've stirred them up. That's something that I learned. I'm like pretty pleased with how some of these have turned out. I can definitely paint with spices, which is something I did not realize before. And it was really fun to like, cook up this paint and just kind of experiment with the different colors I got and what I could do with my brush. I hope that this video inspired you to do some artistic experimenting on your own. Maybe you can whip up some of your own spice paint or find something else in your house or your kitchen to transform into a masterpiece. Just make sure that you're safe while you do it. I can't wait to see what kind of experiments you do and what you make. So I hope you have a good week and I miss you and I'll see you next time. Bye.